what God giveth like It giveth understanding unto the same thing. Only the word of God can change your world. As you listen to this podcast by Christian Information Network Ministry, your world shall change. Hallelujah. Our God is mighty. Our God has the track record of doing all things. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Hallelujah. We're going to start with prayers. Why do I start with prayer these days? It's because... I'm trying to be a disciple of Jesus more and more. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about what Jesus began to do and to teach. What he began to do and to teach. There is a dimension of doing and there is a dimension of what? Of teaching. Praise God. Um, we are having discipleship or I mean family retreat with a team, disciple like his master. But I want us to pray. God wants to touch you. This God of the universe wants to do something in your life. Are you ready to pray? I want you to thank God for this fifth month that the Lord will unleash his grace upon your life. That this month will be the beginning of counting of months in your life. Can you please lift up your hands and worship the Lord this morning? Give God a praise. God, Lord, I thank you for that which you are going to do. Thank you because this month will not just come and go. This month you will visit me. This month, Lord, grace shall be made available for me in all the areas of my life. Believe the Lord. Believe the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Did our Bible study, the last Bible study, we, asked, we started talking about the prayer of Jabez. The prayer of Jabez. And one thing we learned is that Jabez called upon the God of Israel. And he said, Lord, that thou will bless me indeed. How many of you want God's blessing indeed? Now you see, he did not say, God, that you will bless me. There is a blessing and there is blessing indeed. A blessing indeed is a blessing that will showcase a person. A blessing that will be all be written all around your life. Because that was the end result of the life of this man. He became more honorable. It became more honorable. It does not matter what anybody has said in the journey of your life. The Bible says his mother born him in sorrow. And so his name was given sorrow. And his life became sorrowful. But you see, he was not the only one that was struggling. He was not the only one that was suffering. Even his brothers, his brethren, they will find themselves in the same situation. Now you see, we say things are hard. There are adverse situations everywhere, but it will not come near you. Yeah. Why? Because there is a God who can turn sorrow to joy. God who change the, the story life of Jabez. So I want you to pray. I discovered that many people do not pray and say, God, bless me. Change my story. Bless the work of my hand. Bless my family. And when you say bless... Right, we have said in the, in the study that bless has to do with to honor, to favor, all right, and to give an extraordinary lifting. Can somebody lift up his right and say, My father, I come to you this month of May. Lord, bless me indeed. Come on, turn it to prayer in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. 
Lord, bless me indeed. Is that how much you love yourself? Bless me indeed. The blessing that will change the story of your life completely. And Jabez called upon the God of Israel. Oh, saying, oh, that will you, will you bless me indeed? Will thou bless me indeed? Bless the work of my hand. Bless my business. Bless my career. Bless my family. In Jesus' name we pray. To bless. In Hebrew is Barak. And Barak means to honor, to favor, to be, to be lifted in an unusual manner. And so when you say you bless God, you can only honor God that God will honor you. Praise God. But you see, it is God that can put his honor upon a man. And so, you can't say, God, I favor you. But it's God that can put favor on man. So, you can see, when the Bible now says that the man was now more, was now more honorable because God bless him. Hallelujah. I pray for you. The Lord will bless you. I love a particular, I mean, it's what I also am saying. When somebody asks you, how are you? How do you answer? Huh? I am blessed. It is not fine. There is something bigger than fine, being fine. You are not fine. You are blessed. Let it be a language. I know the PA of a man of God that, when I say, oh, Pastor, oh, how are you? I am blessed. I am blessed. Begin to say it. I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Let it be your language. Tomorrow, someone say, How are you? I am blessed. Uh, how is uh, everything? I am blessed. When you are saying that, you are affirming that I am honored. That God's favor is upon my life. That I am lifted. Hallelujah. It is whatever you say with your mouth that you are going to eat the fruit thereof. It doesn't matter, maybe there is no money in your pocket. Ah, if there is no money in my pocket, I say I am blessed. Ah, there is money, it's where it is. Praise God. The storehouse of heaven cannot be exhausted. Amen. We have inheritance reserved for us in heaven. You have to want to take it from there. So, don't look, look at your condition to say, How are you? Ah, we are managing. Who told you to manage our poverty? Huh? How are you? Ah, life continues. Struggle continues. Don't speak bad. You are a blessed person. You are connected to generational blessing of Abraham. Hallelujah. I want you to pray and say, my father, in the name of Jesus, in this month of May, release your favor. Release your honor upon my life. Come and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. When God favors you, men then will rise to favor you. When God bestows honor upon your life, then men shall honor you. I want to tell the Lord, God Almighty favor me. Lord, bestow your honor upon my life. Do something new. Do something great. Do something awesome. In my life. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible talks about things that eyes have not seen. Things that ears have not heard. 
let me tell you if what happens to you is what happened to everybody then there is nothing special about your God but when God sing you out to bless you to turn things around in your life as he did for Daniel as he did for Mordecai as he did for Joseph as he did for David men that encounter God as he did for Mary as he did for so many people in the Bible Elizabeth I tell you that is when you God shows that you are important to him God put his glory upon your life Amen, Amen. You are not praying maybe God I did say you should destroy your enemy this morning Maybe God said, I didn't ask you to destroy your enemy. Leave enemy alone. The Bible says he will set a table before you in the presence of who? Of your enemies. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want you to pray. If you understand what the Lord is saying this morning, you want your story to change. does not matter whether they pay your salary or they don't pay your salary. There is a God in heaven. Whether your salary, like our brother who taught us in agriculture, he said whenever the store is closing, when school is about to, when they say bring your results, that is father, he's not looking at their results alone. He wants to see that whether salary or school fees has increased. Normally, School fees is increasing, and yes, salary in the place of work is not increasing. So, if God does not bless a man, how does he want to, you know, to cope? Are you ready to pray? Yeah. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, my father, do something in my life, in my family, that will change my story, that will give praise to God. Oh, yeah, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Now begin to pray every area you want God to bless. Whether it's your son, whether it's your daughter, whether it's your husband, whether it's your wife, whether it's your job, where you want God's blessing. You want increase. You want lifting. You want God to announce you in high places. Begin to tell God. In your academics, God, come and bless the work of my hands. Come and bless my academics. It's your warm, you lua. It was sudden la. It was book, you see. Ulu egbe misoke. Turn my life around. Turn my situation around. Give me testimony. Give me testimony. Give me testimony. In the name of Jesus. Give me testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my father, let every garment of shame or disgrace upon my life, upon my family, catch fire and burn to ashes. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every garment of shame, every garment of disgrace that the enemy has put upon me, let it catch fire. Let it be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Garment of shame is not my own. I reject it. I show a tear. I show a gun. Olu e ko olu e bot scroll on me. Olu e baba ira e suni no luwa. E suni no luwa. E suni no luwa. E suni no luwa. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my Father, by your grace, O Lord, let my helpers of destiny begin to locate me. I want you to know what comes my wami come. Oh, yeah, I do a look at Jesus.
In Jesus name we pray. Pray this last one. That will determine your testimony. Because with this one, you will come and tell a new story. In the name of Jesus. Can you say that Lord, let every closed door be opened by thunder. Every closed door to my greatness, to my promotion, be opened by thunder. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every closed door be opened. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Let the door of this man be open. Let the door of this man be open in the name of Jesus. Every goodness, every greatness in this in this month, Lord, I receive it. I gather it in the name of Jesus. Everything that will benefit my destiny in this month, I receive it. Pray, pray. Every door be open. Let every blessing flow in my direction. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I pray for you that this month every door that is shut against you, I command them to be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Every helper of destiny that God has designed to help you, wherever they are, let them begin to locate to you. This month, I pray, grace speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hardship in your life, I command it to disappear by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. This month, I pray in the name of Jesus, let the Lord bless you indeed. Let the Lord bless you indeed. Let the Lord bless you indeed. Let the Lord, you let the Lord prosper the work of your hands. So many things you don't know how to do. I pray this month, the Lord will sort you out. How to go about, the Lord will teach you. Things that eyes have not seen. Things that ears have not heard. Things that men have not thought about. Receive that idea. Receive that breakthrough. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. And the people say, Amen. Lord, this morning speak to us through your word. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want us to open our Bible to Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. My Bible. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Can we read together? I want to go. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. I read also Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11. Acts chapter 11, from verse 22. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church. That is, what happened when the Gentiles began to receive Christ. Those that were scattered were preaching and souls were added to the, I mean, to the church. Then the tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church which was in Jerusalem and they sent forth Barnabas that he should go as far as to Antioch who when he came 
and had seen the grace of God, was glad and exhorted them all that with purpose of art they will cleave unto the Lord. For he was a good man and full of the Holy Ghost and of faith. And much people was added unto the Lord. Then departed Barnabas and Tazos for, a, uh, for to seek Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were first called Christians first in Antioch. Shout hallelujah. Now, we are starting today our family retreat with a theme taken from Luke chapter 6 verse 40 which says, disciple like his master. Disciple like his master. So, I'm talking this morning on a call to follow. A call to follow. Now, to be a disciple of Jesus, the first thing that is issued out is a call to follow Jesus. Now, if you look through the scriptures, the first place we read in that Matthew 4, 19, he saw the disciples, I mean, the way he gathered the, the disciples, the Bible says, he told them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. The same thing he said to Matthew, sorry, that he said to Peter and Andrew, follow me, from today, you become fishers of men you will no longer be catching physical fishes. The sons of Zebedee, who also left their father and the sheep and everything and follow him, he told them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Now you can see, he said, he said unto them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. That is the first call a disciple will receive. The first call to make you a disciple of Jesus is a call to follow him. A call to do what? To follow him. So, I want to be a little bit fast because of time. The word disciples means follower or learner. The word disciples itself means follower. So when he said, follow me, that is, become what? My disciples. Become my learner. All rabbis, you call it rabbi, all rabbis, those are the Jewish teachers, had disciples. People at the time of Jesus choose which rabbi to follow, listen to, and learn from. Now you see, in the, in the land of Israel, there were rabbis. Oh, some of these Pharisees were rabbis, they were teachers, teachers of the law. And people decide which teacher that they want to follow. People decide, yes, they meet in the synagogue, they meet in the temple. But at the same time, for close discipleship, for the close monitoring, I mentoring, now everybody shows the disciple, I mean, the discipler now, called the rabbi that he wants to follow. And when you are following a rabbi, that you want to do what? You want to listen to that person. You want to follow the person, listen to the person, and you want to learn from that person. So which means the concept of discipleship is to learn from the master. Is to learn from the master. Jesus was a different sort of a rabbi. You know Jesus was called rabbi. Is that not so? Are you following me, church? Now, you see, they call Jesus rabbi. They call him also rabbi because by the reason of his teaching in the temple, they said he taught not like the Pharisees. His teaching was unique. So they saw him, they said, this man is a teacher. This man is a teacher. Because whenever he gets to the temple, if you open, you know, the scripture, the whole testament then, the Bible says in one occasion that their eyes were open. And he said, this day, this scripture is fulfilling your eyes. And of course, they said, this man is a teacher. But see, he was a unique kind of a teacher. 
He was a different sort of a rabbi as he chose his disciples. Rather than being chosen by them. Now, the difference between me is that the rabbi in Israel, you will choose the rabbi to follow. You choose the, the, the master to follow. Praise God. But in the case of Jesus, they were not the people that chose Jesus. He was the one that chose them. And that's why he was saying somewhere, he said, you are not that shows only he said i you are not that shows me i am the one that shows you and i send you out to go and make the disciples to go and you know and let your fruits do what abide so he was the one that called them now let's look at mark chapter 1 help me fast mark chapter 1 verse 16 to 20 mark chapter 1 Verse 16. Now as he walked by the sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. Verse 17. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye. 17. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Come ye after me, I will make you to become fishers of men. Verse 18. And straight away, they forsook their nets and followed him. Verse 19. And when he had gone a little further, then he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who also were in the sheep, mending their nets. And straight away he called them, and they led their father Zebedee in the sheep with the hired servants and went after him. He called to follow. We are called to follow Jesus. And when you follow him, you learn from him. When you follow him as a disciple, you also listen to him. Amen. Now look at Mark chapter 2. The same Mark chapter 2 verse 13 now. Mark chapter 2 verse 13. And he went forth again by the seaside. And all the multitude resorted unto him. And he taught them. Next verse. And he, as he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the receipt of custom. He was a custom officer. And said unto him, follow me. And he arose. And do what? And followed him. He arose. And followed him. The next verse. Now, and it came to pass that as Jesus sat at meat in his house, many publicans and sinners sat also together with Jesus and the disciples, for there were many, and they followed him. Fast. And when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eat with publicans and sinners, they said unto his disciples, How is it that he eateth and drinketh with publicans and sinners? When Jesus heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole, have no need of what? Physician. But they that are sick, I am not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Praise God. 